right guys um it is officially december it's like 11 a.m in the morning um i am going to do vlogmas a little bit different i'm going to do like weekly videos um it's just going to be a lot less stressful for me and um like i'll just feel like i'll have more content to to edit and vlog so hello galileo <laughs> um, I got a late start. I woke up at like 10, but I didn't get out of bed until like 10 30. And then I was um, just like hanging around in the apartment. So I'm only just now getting to make some coffee. Um, and then I have my November, nonfiction November video to edit. Um, and I think I might have a few other things to edit or do. And I'm going to do a little bit of reading and then I've had, I had last week off of school. So I'll take a look and see what's, what I have to do this week for school. So that'll be this week. I think it'll, I think it's supposed to snow tonight and tomorrow. So that should be fun and nice. Um, It's like 12.30 on December 2nd and I am on my way to work. I finished um, the Cozy Murder Mystery that I was reading, Murder at the Murder in the First Edition, um, which is the third book in uh, a new Lauren Elliott murder, murder, Cozy Murder Mystery series, uh, which you guys have heard me talk about. Um, I read the second one recently because I wanted to get to the third one, which is the Christmas themed one. And it was, it was cute. I liked it a lot. I love the characters a lot. Um, and I like the, the setting a lot. The only thing that is annoying is, um, I feel like I'm getting whiplash from the, from the love triangle. I mean, I get it. Like, all cozy murder mysteries most cozy murder mysteries have a love triangle um but, but i'm definitely getting like whiplash from this one because um actually let me see if i can put you on my oh better um i don't know why i didn't do that before <laughs> um i'm getting whiplash from the freaking love triangle because literally she will have a scene with one of the guys and then um like immediately have a, have a scene with the other guy and I, f I just feel like I know who is the one that's supposed to be because you know like you know who the one is supposed to be right it's always the first one that gets introduced it's always the, the cop or the detective or the PI or you know whatever the crime scene cleaner or whatever um whoever you first meet like at least in every single every single um cozy murder mystery that i've ever read and i've read what feels like hundreds um that's been the case so you know who it is but um like a lot more attention is being paid to the second guy and then the first guy is being made to be like an asshole so like do you want me to root for the first guy or do you are you gonna like twist this up on me and make it be the second guy 
I don't know, but like I said, I feel like I'm getting whiplash because it just, it's so fast. And like in one single scene, you'll go from one to the other. And it's just like, it doesn't feel, I mean, none of these are really supposed to feel realistic, but it feels even less so than normal. Um, but anyways, I also started A Wedding in December by Sarah Morgan, and I'm actually really, really loving it. Um, I have really enjoyed every Sarah Morgan that I've read, um, but this one has a, a has a much different dynamic than the other ones of hers. I don't know what the heck that was. Uh, the other ones of hers that I've read, um, it has uh, f three different perspectives. It's a mom and her two daughters. And they just feel um, much deeper and more developed, even just like seven chapters in, than a lot to me than her like mass market quick romances do. Um, and this one came out in trade paperback first, uh, rather than a mass market. So I wonder if like that was the intention was to make it a little bit less um, kind of fast paced, less you know a little bit more deep. It's a lot. Of different characters and a lot of, of of things to to kind of make you enjoy really being a part of this of this story uh, and and reading the story. So I'm really really loving it so far, um, and I can't wait to continue it. Hopefully I'll finish it. I don't know maybe in the next one or two days. Um, so yeah, I have Wednesday off. If I don't have if I'm able to do a little bit of schoolwork tonight and tomorrow night then maybe we'll go into the city and see a few of the Christmas things um, because I, that's my favorite part of Christmas in New York is seeing all the, all the, albeit touristy, but very pretty Christmas things. So back to my true crime podcast. like almost 10 o'clock on December 2nd just got home from work finished murder in the first edition and yeah I'm just working more on uh, a wedding in December which I'm really really enjoying by Sarah Morgan and then um I don't know I guess we'll see what I pick up after that <laughs> what are you doing? It's acting camera shy. Uh, good morning, guys. It's like 10.30, something like that, on Wednesday, December 4th. I am off today, so I am now just going to have a little bit of coffee, and I'm going to see, I'm going to confirm which chapters I need to read for class so that I can do that and then um, after Lewis gets home later in the afternoon we're gonna go into the city um, and yeah maybe have a little bit of Christmas New York City Christmas fun videos for my channel I haven't read a single thank god for days off so I can catch up on booktube oh my god
It is December 5th, the evening of December 5th. I just got home from work and the gym. So I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to do some homework. And yeah, I have started Just Mercy, which um, is the booktube common read that Olive was hosting from over at a book Olive. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It is the story of this um, black lawyer who decides to go into um to decides to help uh people on death row and it's about the story of um i think um his his dealings with one particular man named uh walter who um at least that's what i had haven't read the synopsis or anything that's just so far what it's been about and it seems like that's what it's going to continue to be about um going so yeah so so far it's really really good it's impactful um he just talked about a time when he was just in his car listening to music and um the cops were called and um they pointed their gun at him and almost arrested him and how scary that was and how he's saying that as an adult and as a lawyer it still terrified him and and um and he sort of almost didn't know what to do and he felt a little trapped and um and he's just thinking back about when he was 16 his instinct would have been to run because there are these two men dressed all in black who say they're cops but they're pointing a gun at me um and my instinct sorry i have my instinct would have been to run and and how that probably would have resulted in his death and how scary that is and how few of us still to this day think about that and and realize how what a different life is led by men and women of color specifically black individuals and i mean i think the injustices continue to occur and we don't think about it enough so you should really pick this book up um i think this is one of those like i'm thinking of the pairing of like this is a good book to read and then if you want to learn more read the new jim crow i've already read the new jim crow so this is um a sort of story to go along with it like someone's story to go along with it which is really interesting and really great um and but yeah i would definitely recommend that you read both um uh, maybe one after the other so yeah that's what's going on right now Hi guys, so it is, uh, whatever, um, it's Sunday afternoon, it's about 4, 440, no, 430, I just left work and headed home, I have the next two days off, I'm so excited, um, and yeah, I just realized that I hadn't really wrapped up this first week of Vlogmas, so... I thought I would go ahead and do that. Let's wait, this lady's taking forever. You ever wonder how people get their license? Like, what did you pay? Like, how much did you pay the freaking instructor instructor to give you the this license because child anyway um i am still reading just mercy and it's it's really impactful um obviously with types of books like that it's it's weird to say that you're enjoying it but it is being it is quite impactful um and i'm really 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 glad that i'm reading it and i hate you know that i obviously like like all books that you really enjoy you kind of hate that you waited so long to read it but i'm glad that i'm finally getting to it now um and yeah i'll be reading that into the next week i think i have two major assignments left for the semester and then i will be free um and yeah and then i'm gonna read up the you know read just a bunch of christmas um christmasy books i have two cozy murder mysteries for from the christmas town um cozy murder mystery series that i started to read last year and really enjoyed and i have two more that i'm going to read this christmas um and yeah i have a few arcs and, and 
kind of other stuff that I wanted to read as well. And I'm just excited to be done with school so that I can finally just focus all of my time on reading things that I that I enjoy and want to read. So um, thank you for watching this first installment of Vlogmas. Um, hopefully into the next week we'll do a few more Christmassy things and I'll take you guys along so that we can do all of that together. Um, and as always, thank you for watching and for listening. I love you guys very, very much.